Hello, Tim here. Doing a little collaboration with the Experimental Aircraft Channel today. You know, it's amazing what we humans can accomplish when we work together. And this team is a perfect example of how passionate people can overcome obstacles and challenges to bring new and exciting things to life and share it with the world. This team of young engineers debuted their collaborative efforts of art, science and engineering during the 2021 EAA AirVenture event in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Let's watch as this young lady prepares to take flight in their carbon fibre creation they've branded Blackfly. All pre-checks are complete, a pre-flight discussion is nearing completion, Batteries at full charge, the ground crew and safety crew are prepared for anything to go awry. Here is the moment that everyone on the ground and you at home watching have been waiting for, the flight of the Opener Blackfly. Here we go. And she's up. Mighty high angle of attack, I've got to say. She's staring into space at this moment. Her feet are well above her head in a sort of tipped over lazy boy chair configuration. But she is up. She's flying in VTOL at the moment. And now to transition from vertical to traditional flight. And there she goes. Headed down the field there at the Air Venture Ultralight Field here in Oshkosh. And she's back to Earth safe. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Battery's dead. All right, let's prepare to have another go at this, shall we? Let's adjust the headset, fix the hair just before our second departure from Earth, and we're ready. Let's wind this fly up. Start sequence has begun, propellers are turning, everything's warming up, radio checks complete, seatbelt fastened, tray tables up in the locked position. Let's watch together with you at home as well looking on to this carbon fibre creation. Here we go, round two. And she's up. Again in the vertical takeoff configuration. What a rush that initial rotation from the ground to hovering in vertical flight must be. No, she's going to maneuver down the field again. Look at that crosswind component. She's handling the gusts quite well. Notice how little power is required once transitioned from vertical to normal flight configuration. Those motors seem to be nearly 50% power once transitioned. That aerofoil wing must be creating some amount of lift at low speed. All right, rotation back into the vertical flight configuration now. Much like pulling a parachute, I imagine. This feels pretty similar. Now a flat rotation as she nears her second landing of the day. Look at that nearly full flying windsock across the field, ladies and gentlemen. This craft is handling the wind quite well today. Touchdown. Very successful second flight is in the books for Team Opener today. Many people have asked, why are they landing on the belly of this aircraft? Excellent question. The reason behind that is that in order to classify as an ultralight, they had to make weight, which is quite light. So there's an allowance for flotation devices and also a parachute, which ups your gross weight allowance to be within the rules. So this aircraft actually floats in water, hence the belly shape landing in this configuration. Thanks for taking the time to check out this awesome team of engineers and their new creation. I'm quite certain we'll see more of them in the coming months. 
You've been listening to Tim Bridge during your flight experience here today. I've also been working in e-flight in the form of electric aircraft conversions for uh, Zenith, no less. See more about that, check the links below this video. Thanks for watching and I am out. Great companies like Dynon Avionics at DynonAvionics.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Airworks at AirWorksAviation.com. Avionation at AvionationUSA.com. Check the description below for links to these great companies. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. If you like these videos that we are producing weekly, give that like button a click and engage all notifications so you don't miss a single episode. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Experimental Aircraft Channel. And thanks to Tim Bridge for providing the narration of this video. Check out ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for more original aviation content. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.